How's it going, everybody? My name is Andy. I'm a pastor with Living Water Church in Kittanning, Pennsylvania, and very, very excited about an event that we have coming up, and I just want to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, this year, we are going to be celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles as a church, and we want to invite your church, and we want to invite the entire community to come and celebrate with us. The Feast of Tabernacles this year runs from Friday night, October 2nd, through Friday night, October 9th. And so every single evening, we are going to be there from 6 to 9 o'clock. Uh, we're planning on having food served every night at 6 from different organizations throughout the community. We'll also have uh, s'mores available every night. 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, we'll have a worship from different worship teams from lo different local churches. And we'll also have teaching every night on different aspects of tabernacles throughout the Bible. Other things for each night, we'll have bonfires that will be uh, set throughout the parking lot of the church and so you'll have a place to warm your hands if it is a cold night uh, from the beginning of God's relationship with the nation of Israel he has ordained certain celebrations throughout the year uh, that that he says that we are supposed to celebrate uh, in perpetuity we celebrate them forever uh, as a, as Christians we generally recognize several of those uh, festivals uh, the first one Passover uh, we certainly recognize how Jesus is our Passover lamb that God's judgment has passed over us and now we have we have freedom we have a new life because of what God has done through Jesus Christ we also recognize Pentecost Pentecost when the gift of the Holy Spirit was given to the church uh, directly coincides with the Jewish festival of the Feast of Weeks and so uh, those two are integral uh, to the church uh, we recognize and understand that without those two celebrations uh, the church really doesn't even exist uh, but there was a third great festival that God ordained, and we are supposed to be celebrating it, but the church, for the most part, has completely neglected it. That third one is called the Feast of Booths or the Feast of Tabernacles. Any money that we make from the food and the offering throughout the night, uh, we will then give to different local nonprofits throughout the week. And so hopefully uh, we'll be a blessing to many different local organizations and churches as well. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, mark your calendars, my friends, October 2nd through October 9th. We cannot wait to celebrate God with you, and we cannot wait to see what he will do in all of our lives as we tabernacle again with him. God bless you. Have a great day. See you soon.